Hello everybody, my name is Jeff Aviano and welcome back to Kona. We are at the spot we were at last and I decided I turned up the music volume this time. Let's pick up these little matches or whatever the hell this is right here. Matches. Um, because a lot of you said you couldn't hear it last time. So we're sitting here getting warm. We're going to continue our little treasure hunt. Now today I have noticed if we look at our documents here, we have got all of this stuff. But when you look at the treasure map, look, we only have a few treasure maps. We have four and then we have five. Okay. And I know we're going to, we're going to go up there and get the treasure that's right up the, uh, the campsite from us on the uh, right side of the river. Um, I, I'm fully aware of that. Uh, but on the other side of the coin, I wanted to make sure that we go back and get the other ones. So we'll continue on today and we're going to go get the, uh, this, this treasure map up here, but we're kind of doing it out of order. So we need to go back and find the other treasure maps. That's what we really do need to do. So let's grab ourselves our trusty Leon field. Gonna need this today. I have a feeling and, uh, yeah, let's continue with some more Kona. So we're on the other side of the river and the river's over here should be over this way actually so you can hear the music starting there uh but it was just down low last time so i think that's what that was all about what do we got here yeah this doesn't look creepy at all does it tiki torch mask things what is this east island over here? that's really strange it's like a medicine wheel or a, or a uh time thing so you can hear the music Hopefully it's pretty creepy, isn't it? All right. We need to go back down toward the uh, river. It's a good thing that it always shows you uh, your tracks in the snow. I do like that a lot. So you don't really get, you can't get too lost unless you're an idiot like me. You can get lost pretty fast. All right. I normally have a good sense of direction from being a pilot, but in video games, I seem to not have that much of direction. To be honest. All right. So here's the river and it's on the other side of the river, probably up on the right. So we're going down this way. Try to do this before we freeze our ass off. All right. Remember it's on this side of the river. Well, it kind of just ends there, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. All right. We got something. Oh, another treasure map. Oh, look at that. There's another campsite on the other side. How about that? So it does show you where it's at. Zero is where we're at and the X marks the spot. So yeah, we're a little off there, but that's okay. What else? We got anything else in there? Get some fire starters in an in imgur giraffe. Oh yeah, let's not go that way. Have to cross back the river. Zareva, yes. Now we're gonna head back to the general store and get to our truck. That's what we're gonna do. And I think the first treasure map has to be like one of the first houses we went to. But I also said, remember last time that we're gonna go to the other uh, other one, meaning the the houses that are further down the map towards the entrance. We're gonna do that today as well. Now, after we get into the truck, the truck has disappeared. Oh, that's always nice. You park your truck here and then it's just gone the next day. They must have moved it up the road or something. Let's look at our map. It, it'll probably tell us where it's at. Hopefully it will. If not, we can get warm. Yeah, they put the truck up by the cabin. Okay, well, we're going to make a nice little track now. Thanks. That, that must be a bug. If you uh, save out at a campsite, you get screwed there. What was the uh, thing I was going to do in here? I wanted to try this again. Was it like nine, six or something? I don't remember what it was. I think it hit sale. Whoa, whoa. Hello. Yeah, that was it. Nine, six. And we have this. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl yeah. was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on though. That is nice to know. Now we know the address of those people. Hmm. Very interesting. We got some loonies, some toonies. I don't know anything about it. Kidding. Interesting. Um, 
But yeah, thank you to the person that uh, left that comment said, hey, hit nine, six and sale. Just saves you a bunch of a time and a lot of trouble. So thank you for that. All right, we're going to have to go on foot across the bridge to our truck since, you know, they made it life a little more difficult on us than it should be. Boom, 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 boom. All right, on up here. That sound always gets me that it's, it's scary. There's no denying how scary that is. Come on, let's just go for a nice jog in the middle of uh, out of Maypec. The other day I was uh, sitting there, I was, I was thinking about it. I was like Atomipec, Adam and Peck or whatever. And then I remembered from the first uh, episode, I called it out of Maypec. I'm pretty sure that's how they pronounce it. There's the creepy Imgur giraffe. Yeah, still looking at me. No problem. No problem. Well, if our truck's already over here and this is where we're going to be, I say there's a fire in there. Oh, my fire from last time's in there. Nice. It remembered it or somebody's here. Hello, Lucy. I'm home. Now we'll get warm here. There we go. Beautiful. And now we'll go back out. Where the hell would our truck be? This is so strange to me. This has got to be a bug that it leaves your uh, truck behind. Let's get a map again. Yeah, it's up here on the left. That's so so strange to me. All right, no big deal. We're just looking for a truck out here. There's the old rusty, old rust bucket herself. We get in this thing and. I mean, hell, we're already down here. We might as well go to the next treasure map that was on that fifth one. I just wanted to collect everything. All right, there we go. Into the truck we have. All right, so let's open up our map. Let's open up this map and remember that it was back there behind that campsite. It looks like uh, behind us. Okay, well, I mean, that's probably the case. Let's look at our... Oh, we can't look at our documents while we're here. Okay, let's get out and look at our documents. I love how Carl was putting his hand there on the vent like, oh my God, I'm freezing, dude. You're killing me here, bro. All right, treasure map. Treasure map time number five. Uh, we did that one already. I want six now. So the next one is over there. Oh. I see. The journal store is there. Oh, it's it's reversed. Okay, that makes sense. All right, well then it's not behind us. All right, fantastic. We'll get in the tr we'll hop in the truck now. I, w I do want to check that first um, residence we went to earlier, and check the mailbox and see if uh, there's anything in there. Because I don't think we checked the mailbox of that road. I don't know why I didn't think about checking mailboxes, but I didn't. It was my fault. I do admit it. Really. It's going to tear up our truck today. Yeah, I guess we are. When he is stressed, Carl needs a cigarette. We know. Let's go this way. I think the house was up here on the left. If I... Yep, here we are. I didn't check this mailbox, did I? Memory doesn't serve too correct for me on this one, but... If not, it's all right. We'll continue back down south. And see if we can find anything down there. How about them? Apples. Nothing in there. Okay, I, I guess we did check that then. Um, think of other places we might have missed. We'll open up our map one more time here. I, I just, uh, it, it just blows me away that I haven't found those other, um, those other ones, you know? House there, house there. Hmm. We're gonna go down to those two first houses. See down there? We'll do, we'll hit those houses up and then we'll go north and if we don't find any other treasure maps, we'll go to that one. How about that? I think that'll be for the best. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it that way. Let's back up. I think Carl doesn't feel bad about getting the hell out of this town for a little bit. We're going to inspect the first houses. We are, we are. Because we haven't done that yet. So I think that'll be fun for us. All right. So everybody in this town owed him some money. Or at least the uh, the general store guy that is dead. Him and his wife. Well, frozen in time. They're frozen in time. 
All right, now we get a nice old countryside drive, and we're gonna be looking for more stuff that we haven't maybe we haven't noticed before. It's really easy to get uh, fixated on one thing in front of you, and you kind of put the blinders on. Oh, here's a here's a uh, little mailbox here. Let's just check it real fast. I, I'm pretty sure we've checked this mailbox, but I just want to double check to make sure. Um, nope, we didn't. What's this? M. Lachance, following your complaint about the- Oh, we did read this. Please can do for you. Yeah, we read this. Okay, cool. He just puts it back. That's what it was. That's what it was. Son of a bitch. Alright, whatever. We'll get back in the road. Back on the road. Let's see if we can find anything else. Because we got to be getting pretty close to finding everything. I think the treasure map will be over. Oh, look at these things. Those are cool. Oh, here's a, another one. Let's get out and check this. I don't know why I never thought to check mailboxes in the beginning of the game. Just never did. Those are creepy looking things. What do we got here? Aha! There's the first freaking treasure map. Some bitch. And we found the second one. Or we don't have the second one, do we? I mean, I know where we're at, but... You gotta be kidding me, OV. Uh, left and right, left and right. Oh. You don't get to keep that one, I guess? Um... Got a Little Marie, the treasure hunt begins. Yeah, see, this is the first one I should have found first episode. I hit 10 treasures and each of them includes indications to the next one. Here's the first map. The hunt starts at my house. Ah, so that was the little kid that drew the little Le Monster. Interesting. It all makes sense now. Kind of, sort of. Let's double check our map here. Carl decided he wanted to open up his map. I haven't heard the narrator in a while. Okay, so there's a house here. We haven't checked yet, so we might as well. I mean, we're already here, right? Well, no one can, so, you know. <laughs> the Winnebago Man. Love the Winnebago Man. But it's the greatest thing pretty much ever. All right, we have never been to this house, and it looks scary. Bedard's house. Remember, they owed some money, too. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Well, I say we smoke ourselves a nice cigarette here, and we also need to um, need to burn one of these, smoke them if you got them, and we're gonna get our rifle out too, because I don't trust anything out here with uh, pretty much anything, if that makes sense. All right, we need to check the entire house over. I, it's a small, oh, a mat, what's that? Oh, nothing. Can we get up here? Oh, there we go. Aha! A For key. Christ's sake, yet another key hidden under a doormat. Yeah, it's real Nowadays, smart. Nowadays, Carl found his job didn't present him with Hello. much of a challenge. Yeah, I know, right? Pretty easy stuff. Even though this should have been one of the first houses we ever hit up. But you know what? To be fair, I didn't know that. Hello? The house smelled like incense. Incense. The kind that reminds you of the good Lord. Of peace. Of peace. Oh. Very nice. Anything in here? We're looking for little yellow orange squares. I'm going to try to go slow through this because I know I have a tendency to go really, really, really quick. All right. Yeah, we'll open up our flashlight. I think it's safe to say that it's going to be okay in here for the most part. What do we got? Probably used to watch Les Jours des... Whatever. I love how it's all white noise in here. That's not good. Um, yeah, we probably could start a fire, but we have the truck outside, so it's kind of a waste. What do we got over here? A couch. It maybe can be moved. No loose change in the cracks. All right. Well, we, we tried. We'll go down th that creepy ass hallway in a few moments. Can't wait. Oh, that's cool looking. Look at that. Look at that decor. Who's this? Good Paul Six. Yep. Appearing the Pope. Papal. His crooked fingers Papal. gave the impression he was about to bestow a miracle. Yeah, well, if only. Oh, this is the outside. Okay, we'll check that. We'll check the we'll check the garden in a bit. But right now we're gonna go through the house. Nothing in there. I mean, I hope they don't mind me just you know ransacking their crap. Uh, nothing there. I mean, they don't need it anymore. They're gone. What? Okay. 
Somebody fucking with me back there? I heard something. I think it's just these. Yeah, I think it was just not legit, but that's all right. We'll take these. Can we, oh, we fill up the bottle? I think we might have something to fill up the bottle with. I'm not sure. I don't. Man, the mechanics of the uh, little squares is kind of difficult sometimes. You need a bottle for that, Jeff. Okay, well, we might come back in there and do that. Attach wire with the mag. Okay. So these are all things that uh, could have been brought to my attention yesterday. The last time we played. Well, actually, the first time we played would have been nice. Who was this? Some sort of crazy stuff. I love the pink. Look at the pink eraser. See it in there? It even it's the original. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, we just checked that, Jeff, and nothing was in there. Oh, a trash can. Carl found the trash can to be unpretty whatever. Nobody's on the phone. Ooh, matches. Yeah, I mean, no, nobody's on the phone. A little creepy, but nonetheless. Ooh, meat steaks. Those are for the doggies, I think. Oh, there's nothing else in there, right? Let me look. Yeah, nothing. Can we read this? Yeah, they got 100% on their uh, on the little thing there. All righty. Is anything crazy down here? Let me know now. I'm coming, coming down the hallway. The family's mother must have spent her days washing the filth off her kids' diapers. Seems legit. <laughs> Good God. So is it kids' room? Oh, I see. Well, hey, they wanted to save a buck or two. Hello. Oh, there you are, Mr. Creepy Giraffe. Who knew that giraffes thrived in the North Pole? They don't. The craze for toys was stupefying. That is such a cool throw to the uh, Imgur people. All right. Imgur, whatever you want to call it. Nothing in there. I and mean, we are going through this place. Clogged bathtub drain. Hmm. Love of religion and ancestors was rooted deep inside the hearts of Canadians of old. Yeah, to I'd which say the so. Bedards appeared to be closely related. Huh. All right, he's getting a little more creepy back here. A little more light would be nice, but we don't get that, do we? Hello. Nothing here. Oh, inspect. Kids' drawings. Wolf. A church. Looks like lightning of some sort. Angel. Another dog thing. Nothing too scary. Smile, smile, smile. Nothing here. Dollies that are always freaking creepy. There we go. Turn on a light. Why not? What we got here? A diary. Marie's diary. This Surely is the one this Jean-Luc Bedard could lead Carl to Hamilton, a.k.a. Uncle Willie. Uncle Willie. So this was uh, his niece. She's the one with the treasure map. I have a diary just like mom. Unlike her, though, I don't wear a long face when writing, but I do love write to write my thoughts and about Martin, most of all. I love m talking about him. I think he loves me, too. Just like in Romeo and Juliet, people don't like it when I see him only because he's Blaze. But just like in the story, nothing can stand in the way of true love. All right, August 18th. I lost appetite. I can't sleep anymore. Every waking hour, intense shivers run through my body. Dad's making me see Dr. Bip Biopra, whatever. And his big hands touching me everywhere, his foul breath exhaling all over my face. Yuck! I'm not sick. I'm in love. I love Martin so much. There's nothing I like better than thinking about us playing together like we always do. I wonder if you found the key I lost the other day. He was pretty sad when I did because it's for his dad's garden shed. And Martin has always been afraid of him. I think Martin's dad is a bit like dad's god. The key fell in a burrow next to the shed. Poor Martin. Cried like a baby, but I still love him. There you have it, guys. August 24th. Uh, Mom often cries when she feels lonely. I think there's no reason for her to cry. Mom can be stupid sometimes. Dad works a lot because of that wealthy English man buying everything that what notar not notaries do. That's what notaries do. Wow, I screwed that up. They make sure that people get what they're paying for, basically. It's complicated, but that's how Dad explained it to me. The rich guy doesn't look half as bad as Martin told me he was. When I saw him this morning at Dad's office, he told me, Call me Uncle Willie. I found that pretty funny, plus he gave me candy. Okay, it was kind of old and dry, but still candy. I think Dad gets along well with Uncle Willie because when he's face when he's with him, he laughs the same way he does with Father Label. September 22nd. I had to gobble up Dr. Biapri's horrible medicine because if I hadn't, I would have 
I wouldn't have made it to Christmas, or so he said. I haven't seen Martin in weeks, nor did I went to school for that matter. Nor did I went to school for that matter. Yeah, that's what it's written there. Dad has been praying beside my bed every morning while now and bedtime too. Today he went hunting with Uncle Willie, and he told me, ask God to bless him in my prayers. Seems totes. I think this has to do with the medicine. That's the only richest of rich can afford. Dad told me he'll be praying for Uncle Willie until the day he dies, and that I should do the same. Godfather label, and now Uncle Willie. I wonder when Dad finds the time to pray for Santa Claus. September 28th. How can Mom be so stupid? And she's getting fat, too. She cries like a newborn puppy all the time. It's so annoying. I came across Martin today. He seems pretty thin and maybe kind of dirty. He doesn't look as neat and presentable as Uncle Willie, that's for sure. Wow. So this is pretty crazy stuff. This is, uh, nope, nope, put that away. Pretty crazy stuff. So here's a little book here. Architecture, that's pretty cool, Montreal. Nice, anything in here? The old sock drawer of nothingness. Can't hop the fence over there for, to that one. All right, we have the master bedroom is all that's left after this stuff. And turn a light on, it's just so much nicer in here with the light. If I do say so myself. All right. Anything in here? Carl wasn't desperate to the point he felt compelled to break into the secrets of some chubby village lady. <laughs> well, Carl wasn't oh, desperate to the to. point he felt okay. compelled to break into the secrets of some chubby village so, lady. lady. Yeah, we know. Okay, so the problem I have is I can't get like jump on a bed or anything like that. And whenever you try to get over to these little squares, like the dream, oh, you have to dream look at them just right. Dream catchers originated from Amerindian legends. They were used to trap nightmares. Okay. Well, there isn't anything in here, is there? Nope. A lamp. That. All that garbage. Um, her diary, which we have absolutely no care for in the world, as he said. Anything in here? Nothing that I can see. No. Oh, there is a square in there. Nope, that's to the other side of the room. Yep, it's that one. All right, so I think we can call this house clear, except for stuff on the table. Religion was very influential throughout Quebec Bible, many years ago. Ball, Indeed, it was surprising that Carl did not come across a single chapel since arriving oh, here. Oh, could have turned the lights on like an idiot. Oh, we got potatoes and whatnot down here. We can crouch for those. Enough food for rough times. Hmm. Yeah, you're kidding. All right, I think that this is okay. I think we cleared this house. I don't think we, we missed anything this time. I need to turn on lights more often. I always forget to do that. That's okay, though. All right. Out we go. So they were a religious bunch. That's for sure. There's my wonderful truck. All right. Let's look around here. See if we can find anything. And we'll just hang on to this while we inspect. I don't trust too many things around these parts. For obvious reasons. Some wood down here. Anything over here? Garbage bags, garbage bags. Ahoy. Uh, let's check the wood pile. Sometimes they like to hide things in uh, in plain sight. Eastern Adame Pack. Anything over here? Nope, nothing there. This all looks normal. Ooh, there's tracks that go down that way, though. wolf tracks which is never good that's all right well we'll go down it in a minute but because they usually hide stuff like they're usually Carl smiled at the something. sight of the nicely protected garden yep the garden hopefully the bedards had managed to dig every last potato out before the sudden snowfall now you gotta you gotta pick pick those potatoes out before the uh snowstorm gets in here all right we're gonna go around here i'm just looking just double checking everything so we don't miss anything hidden in plain sight. All right, that looks okay. That looks all right. They have one of those creepy little things too. That must be a, some kind of, maybe it's a Canadian thing that I don't understand. These little uh, tiki things, these, those are strange. You know what? I bet the, that whole line of them that were out front of the, the road here, maybe it says something about that in there. All right, let's open up. What could be in here? There's just some supplies. 
And some crazy music. Ooh, I'll take that. Anything here? Nope. Sounds like uh, Indian music almost. Ooh, a lantern. There we go. What the hell? It's not Indian music, obviously. It's. I can't even find the damn thing to turn it off. Probably because I'm blind as a bat and it's right in front of me. Probably in one of these drawers. A true Catholic always strives to keep lowly ah, temptations at bay. Obviously, Carl thought, someone in this house wasn't doing a good job at upholding the Holy Bible's teachings. Nope. Imagine that. There, it's a damn radio. Turn it off. Creepy, let the creepy music play instead. Hello, looking outside. Ooh. An aging car was parked here. Yeah. Carl could picture the notary's heavy sedan with a huge back seat large enough to fit the whole family. It's probably the one I crashed trying to get the hell out of Dodge. Nothing there. Cats can. We'll take you. Uh, for other things here. Is that like a blanket? It just makes a sound. Just whooshing. Oh, well folded sheet. There it is. Okay. I was like, what could it be? Everything need needed to clean up a mess. Mm-hmm. We can have all no, nope, just one of those bottles. That's okay. A bird cage. There's some stuff there. Anything down here? Nope. All right, so not too much in this house other than this is this obviously should have been one of the first houses that uh, we should have gone to. Oh, we didn't get that stuff. Looks like someone had to hide their habits. Yeah, I'd say so. All the alcohol back here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it would have been nice to have like some sort of visual cue in the very beginning that, hey, you should probably go to this house first to start the whole treasure map and all that stuff. I mean, we know we were supposed to go to the general store, but I don't know about you, but it would have been nice to have like some sort of cue. Hey, maybe you should go check this house out. This first house. All right. Well, I think we've cleared that house pretty good here today. Let's go to the next one. Let us go to the next one. It's going to be a little longer episode for you guys. I know we haven't had a Kona in a while and uh, I've been really wanting to uh, play it. I've just had a lot of other series to take care of and whatnot. Oh, man, look at those. The tick of the bushels. All right, so these little face things. I want to see if we can get out if it tells us anything about them. Sometimes it does with that stuff. They're pretty good about those things. And we just park like a jackass because we can. Nothing here, nothing here. Nope. We know nothing about those other than they're creepy as hell. Look at the independent suspension. Wow. Way to go. Way to go, Paraboli. All right, we're going to back up. And go to the next house on the right. And check all the stuff there. Well, it made this, that, was the, that would be the second house, technically. So, I don't know. It's hard to say what you should do and shouldn't do in, when you first start playing this game. But it, it's an open-end world, so it's kind of nice to have... It's different stuff, but keep in mind we were we had our uh, beeline for that door, not for the door, but for the general store. Door, yeah, had a, had a beeline for the door, no, for the general store. What we got here? All right, hello, Mr. Roy. Last week, and me and Martin, this is where Martin lived. Okay, recycling, and our course ended in the back of our yard. We noticed that the shed door was opened. I was on my way to close it, but Martin entered and borrowed many things, including an ammo box. I replaced the ammunitions, but he did the other objects. Will you call the police? Please don't call the police. Marie Bedard. So Marie is concerned about little, little Martin. Little Martin. Well, we're going to go inspect this house. Let's 
Dun, 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 dun. I'm a little stuck here. We got back up onto the road. There we go. We were up on that snow drift. Up on the snow drift. It'd be nice to have a snow machine. Turn in here. Ooh, nice little yard here. Cool. Nice little shack. Little cabin back here in the it looks like they had a dog. That's cool. Alright. Right here I'll do. Oh yeah. You know how we do here. Always gotta stay uh vigilant. The so-and-so's must have had a dog. It doesn't say that though. See the wolves to the this is to the uh the, the backwoods back there is what they were talking about with the wolves in the uh, diaries and whatnot. They're very, very concerned about that back area back there. Anything here? No. Oh. There's a note on the door. Let's open this up. Ooh, a bottle. Now we're at full capacity. All right, well, before we go in here, let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of swap shop. All right, we got steaks. We'll keep those on us. Polaroid films. Matches. We'll keep those logs if we need them. Lamp oil. We can throw that in there. Hardware. We'll throw that in there. Flare gun. We'll, we Well, we're out of flares, so we'll throw that in there. First aid kit. Keep that on handy. Fire starters need those. Oh, we only need a couple of them. Uh, empty gas can. We'll throw that in there. Empty bottle. Duct tape. We'll keep the cigarettes. Beer bottles can throw in there as well. All right, cool. Wired magnet. We have that on our person. Beautiful. All right. Yep, that'll do. So now we can carry a little bit more. All right, let's go up here and check it out. What does this say? I can't read it. It's getting too dangerous here. We have left for a Manastin Nord. Gene Roy. It's getting too dangerous here. Seems totes. What is happening? Well... One way to find out. Turn on it the. It was a classic Canadian house. Yeah. Except for the absent horde of kids that would normally be swarming about. Turn the lights on. Ooh, it is cool. Let's go ahead and start a fire. Why not? All right. We're going to be going through these people's house for a little bit here. So, might as well. Nothing there. Carl had a gun on him. So he would feel safe. The note. Let's read this. Reading Simulator 2016. Matthew. <laughs> uh, fantasy page one. Matthew had yet to add murderer to his curriculum. He was found fond of new experiences, especially the most thrilling ones and taking the life. Okay, this is, looks like it's just kind of... I'm going to skim this one. It's not anything else. It was just like a piece of a book page or something. That's just strange. So, yeah. It's okay, though. Anything in there? Nope, nothing in there. Phone. Obviously out. Ooh, we got stuff in here. We got more fire starters. Some tuna fish and some peas. Nasty. Alright, cool. Nothing there. Close that. The phone is good. All right. Some logs if we need those. Here's some kind of book. Simon de Beauvoir, Claude Levi Strauss, yeah. Hannah Arendt, Roland Barthes. Carl Barthes. was surprised by the literature filling this liberal leaning bookcase. Yeah. Could there really be intellectuals dwelling in this far off land? Nah, let's just make fun of them instead. Act like they were not worth anything. We'll go out there in a minute. We're going to. Continue our search of things here. Was there a pot roast in there for me? Nope. Of course not. Apple Jacks. No stuff there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Anything in here? Oh, matches. Nope. Get out of there. We'll take those. There we go. Ooh, nice bread. If we had to eat, we could. All right. More stuff there. Nothing in there. Cookie jars are always <laughs> high to reach. Yes, they are. All right, nothing in there. 
That's all clear. This is a water pump. Nothing down below. I'm just going to go through it. Why not? All right. Nothing in there. Nope. All good. That's all clear. All right. Back in the room we go. Who's the this? The couple radiated something akin to lightheartedness, to freedom. Yeah. Perhaps some people out there truly found a way to live happily ever after. It can be done. The photograph was snapped not too far from here, Carl noticed. The couple seemed to be very good friends. Hmm. Seems interesting. A picture of Wilfred in his youth. Carl figured right away that the man must have been some kind of wildlife officer. Ah. That makes sense. What we got here in the bathroom. Anything in the bathroom? Some fun stuff there. Nothing under there, nothing under there. We fill up a bottle if we had one. Nothing there. Okay. Nope, close that. Come on. Close these doors. No, I want this one closed. Come on. See, these are the things that I'm talking about with the mechanics. Like, you just cannot get that right. I'm e and that all over the place. Come on, close. Oh, well. Probably something important in here we needed and we can't get to it now. Doesn't look like we're missing out on anything, though. From what I can tell, it's just a standard bathroom. All right, cool. Let's continue on. I think we're safe to say we don't need a weapon right now. Oh, that's my truck out there. Scared the hell out of me for a second. There we go. A gun rack. Not a single rifle left. Nope. That had to be everything. a bad sign, Carl surmised. Ooh, stuff in there. Is that ammunition? If I can get to it. Yep. That was ammunition. Very nice. Ooh, here's something to read. Reading simulator. Oh, more fantasy page stuff. Two love birds with uh, if you guys want to pause that and read that, you can. I'm just not interested in it. It just seems like it's more of a story book kind of thing. We're not fabric. Another one. Well, these people really like this story. Huh. Interesting. She'll be dead by the end of the month, he promised himself. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. Let me know if those are any, if those are important or not. I don't, wouldn't think that they are, but you know. All right, fantastic. I think that room is considered clear. Let's go to this one. These rooms are creepy. Not gonna lie. Anything in there to get? I should know about. Nope. All right. It's got to be a light switch in here somewhere, but. Ah, well. Treasure chest. Canopoly. Nice. I like that. Ooh. All manners of clothing were gone, as if the Rois drove out of town with their closet in tow. Yeah, they, they got here, out of here in a hurry. Not gonna lie. Oh, there's another one. Page two. Uh, okay. Interesting. Like a killer of some sort. The monster. Ooh, yeah, we'll take those cigs. Thank you very much. They even took the fish. The fish from the fish bowl is gone. What are we supposed to... I mean, we're going to have to worry about him then. Can't close the door behind us. I don't see anything else here. Yeah, I mean, these, these seem like they're very entry-level... Uh, um, homes that we were supposed to see in the beginning of the game and now it's not such a big deal all right let's go ahead and grab our rifle and we're gonna just search the perimeter of the house outside okay nothing there nothing there all right I don't see anything out here and we can go back into the woods, but we're going to save that for another time. 
So now I'm starting to understand a little bit more of uh, the treasure map thing. We have more treasure map stuff. See, the, the wolves go down that way. I know we so badly want to go there, and we will next time. We will. We will next time. We're going to follow those tracks. And see, we'll throw a piece of meat at them or something instead of killing them. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. We're, we're learning a little bit more as we go along here. We're just going to hang out at this house. Hopefully that truck won't disappear and go somewhere else. But, uh, as always, if you guys have some non-spoiler little, uh, suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And, uh, I will see you all very soon. Take care.